Before a man comes to the sanctuary of the cathedral, St. Peter the Apostle, to lay down his life for the church, he is formed into a capable priest over typically six to eight years of priestly formation. A man's time in the seminary is vitally important for his future ministry. He must truly be formed and molded into a man who loves the church and loves the people in the church. As a diocesan priest, that means loving the people of his diocese and desiring to feed the souls of the sheep. They have a focus on uh, diocesan spirituality, which uh, is designed to reflect the people we'll be ministering to. And uh, so I do try to constantly keep in mind the people at home uh, when I'm when I'm learning things to see what uh, would be beneficial uh, for when I return. Right now, we have six men studying for the priesthood in our diocese. Andrew Bowden of Brandon is the furthest along in formation. He is in his third year of theological studies at Notre Dame Seminary in New Orleans. Andrew began his journey to the priesthood while a parishioner at St. Jude in Pearl. Feeling a call early on, he was supported by this community and has worked hard over six plus years of formation. He's scheduled to be ordained a deacon this spring and God willing will be ordained a priest in the spring of 2022. Carlisle Beggarly is a son of the state and he has an experience that many Mississippi Catholics can relate to. A native of West Point, he spent time in Jackson as well, and he is a convert to Catholicism. He converted while he was in college, and he entered seminary formation in 2016. It's a very beautiful experience being able to be here with a house with the Lord amongst us and uh, with um, other like-minded individuals. Uh, and uh, it's challenging, certainly, to the academic part and other parts of formation, but we've, uh, but it's been extremely rewarding. Ryan Storr took a circuitous route to Mississippi. He was born in Ohio and he's lived in many different parts of this country. After graduating from college with an engineering degree in New Mexico, he was awaiting government clearance to take a job as a nuclear engineer. And during that time of waiting, his parents were living in Mississippi. So he came here and lived with them. That's when the Lord started working on his heart. Ryan responded to an invitation from the Lord, and started to discern the priesthood. He entered the seminary in January of 2018. Father Jim uh, does a very good job of making it so that uh, we kind of learn how to be human and integrate everything into our humanity. So basically, uh, we get a really good program here where they develop our spiritual lives, teach us how to pray, teach us how to engage with the scriptures, um, and then be able to bring that uh, to our studies and to the people we encounter uh, in everyday life. And I think all of that is rooted in our ability to be human, to uh, have leisure, to have fun sometimes, to be serious sometimes. And I think overall it's a really good program to be able to bring God into the humanness of the situation, into the, into the world, and uh, hopefully love others in that. Tristan Stovall might be the first man from Neshoba County to enter the seminary for our diocese. He's from the heart of Neshoba County, growing up a short distance from the county fairgrounds. Tristan converted to Catholicism as a high school student at Neshoba Central. He spent one year at Meridian Community College before taking the plunge into seminary formation. Tristan shares on our vocations website, quote, I have always had a deep desire to dedicate my life entirely to God. This desire was present for as long as I can remember. Entering into the sacramental life of the church changed my life. I began attending daily mass and frequenting the sacrament of penance. The example of the saints was very influential in my pursuing a vocation to the priesthood. Tristan is currently in first theology.
Will Fogo is one of our two new entrants into the seminary this fall, also a homegrown vocation. Will grew up in Brandon and attended St. Paul's in Flowood, St. Richard Elementary School in Jackson, and St. Joseph Catholic School in Madison. Will studied engineering at Mississippi State, and he was due to start his senior year this fall. But he explains, quote, I first felt a deep desire for priesthood when I was a senior in high school. When I was in college, that desire grew. I began to notice signs that God may be calling me to priesthood. The feeling of a call to priesthood became so great that I couldn't ignore it. So I decided to enter into seminary, unquote. Will is currently in philosophy studies at St. Joseph Seminary College in Covington, Louisiana. And he's joined there by Grayson Foley, who at 19 years old is our youngest seminarian. Grayson graduated this past May from St. Joseph Catholic School in Madison, and he was an active parishioner at St. Richard in Jackson. Grayson began speaking with his classmates about feeling called to the seminary after attending the Steubenville on the Bayou retreat in his junior year of high school. Grayson was a star basketball player for the Bruins. He was presented with the Bishop Chance Award in 2020 for his witness to the faith while at St. Richard and St. Joe. So you can see that the Lord is bringing forth fruit in our diocese already. These men bear witness to that fact. Looking toward the future, I believe we all share a responsibility and we are all capable of being co-workers with him. So thank you for the support of our current seminarians. Please continue to hold them up in prayer and encourage young men in your parishes who you believe could have a call from the Lord. As you see, there are so many different stories out there and everybody is different. I wasn't ready to enter the seminary at 18 years old, but Grayson Foley was. So tell people about what you have seen this evening, because when we answer God's call, whenever and however that comes about, we come to the fulfillment that he desires for us to have on this earth, and we build ourselves up in holiness, and we help to sanctify others and build up God's kingdom.